Wow. Well, thank you guys for showing up to the meetup. You know, next time we're gonna have to have a regulation on how many vehicles can come here, because this is just way too many. Way too many. We don't have the land for this. I'm totally kidding. We're at an, we're at an event. I got home about two hours ago. I've had some internet and telephone issues. Kyle, hey, do you have uh, Wi-Fi? Yeah. Is it all right if I bring my uh, laptop up and upload my video tonight? Thanks a lot, man, I really appreciate it. I loaded up my truck, I'm headed up to Kyle's. This whole no internet thing is a complete and enormous pain in the butt. This just shows you guys how much I really appreciate you guys, and I know you guys appreciate me. And because of that, we do things for each other. I put up my entertainment, and all I ask is you click the like button. We're gonna go for 10,000 likes. I know we can do it, we're gonna do it, no problem. This part is the easy part, driving up to Kyle's. Another inconvenience part is getting out of the truck, unloading the truck in the piss poor, snowy rain. I do it for you guys. Jake's the far end guy, Seth's the second guy from the end. Jake's bike took off. That's not how you want to start the race. I would rather start the race like that though than getting ran over like 119 did. They got him to go. There he goes. Don't stall it, buddy. That guy's actually got the same graphics kit I have on my bike. take off was pretty good. Neither one of those guys wrecked. I think there was like a total of six people that wrecked. One guy wrecked really hard, the paramedics had to come get him. I think a couple bikes ran him over. I didn't see that well, maybe you guys saw it well. I, I might have recorded it, I don't know. But I'm just in this wooded area right now, checking out all the bikes coming around, it's awesome. They come here, they go around, they come up this jump, go up, down. It's an awesome little bit of trail. We need to, we need to incorporate something like this up in my place. Well, at my grandma's place. Oh. He just went to the tape. He was trying to make the pass, but he didn't make it. That guy lost his fender. It's awesome to race one of these things and then be a spectator. You get to see the whole bit of it. It's really cool, really cool. I think I actually like this better, but being on the bike, it's a little bit more of an adrenaline rush. Way, way more of an adrenaline rush. Now I don't know if I can cross again. I crossed over here, and now I don't know if I can get back. Hey man, what's wrong with you? This is just like the hair scramble we went to last time. It incorporates a little bit of motocross, which is awesome. I love the motocross. Seth is not a big fan of motocross. Jake, I think he's a mix between me and Seth. He kind of likes it, he kind of doesn't. But this is sweet.
There goes Jake the toilet snake. I just saw Jake in the woods. And as he went by, I'm giving him the thumbs up and I'm cheering him on and everything. And he goes, I broke my shifter. That's only lap two. He's got four to six more laps. I hope he figures it out. I could tell that it was slowing him down though when I saw him at his next turn. There he goes. He broke his shifter. since I last spoke to you guys. First of all, I was sitting on the side of the trail and a couple bikers went by and then this one biker went by, he like shifted down a gear, slowed down like 10 or 15 miles an hour and like took a double check at me. He must know who I am. He said something, but I don't know if he said, I don't know if he said 3D machines or not, but I think he, he recognized me. If so, I wanna, I wanna hear it. Leave it in the comment section below. But this spot right here, is one of the trickier spots. Here you have a longer way, but it's muddy at the bottom. You can come up here, or you can go up a steep section, like that guy, and then go through a muddy section at the top. This is longer, but that that's shorter. I don't know, I think this is the better option, to tell you the truth. I think you can keep a lot more speed right here compared to that, because this, you know, you're going up, and then you gotta slow down. Yeah, see, that's too slow. I think you can go a lot faster right here. So that's one of the tricky maneuvers that we found so far. I haven't really walked that much though either, but I will show you guys this huge hill. There we go, there we go. Oh. That guy's got a cool outfit. Yep, that broken shifter definitely slowed Jake down. He was having a difficult time going around this turn. Couldn't really shift down quick enough, couldn't shift, couldn't shift up quick enough. Broken shifter, that's no good at all. This is exciting, you guys. It's super exciting. I'm, I'm regretting my decision 100%. I should have freaking ran this. My armpit would have killed me, but next time, next race, I promise. I am going to make it to the next one whether my health, whether I have my health or not. So my health better get its shit together. Looks like he's doing good. Really good. Even with a broken shifter, it looks like he's going faster than half these people. Maybe more. There's Seth right there. Hold his ground, hold his ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jake. That guy broke his throttle cable or something. Oh, it's winding out. That's no good. Are you okay? Ronnie! What the hell? It was yeah, you? I yelled at you earlier. Did you? That was you? Yeah. Oh, really? Man, that was a hell of a fall you had there. Is your throttle cable broken or something? Yeah, I see it. Oh, yeah. That was a good wipeout. I don't know if I got it though. I, I, I Did you? <laughs> I didn't even see that log. I saw it was like this far away and I thought like, Maybe I can save it, but I can't. How many laps did you do, though? That was actually my cousin. That little guy's awesome. Practice makes perfect. Check out the rig that we're parked next to. This totally brings me back to the Nissan days. King cab, big tires on it. Oh, it looks like he's got a broken lug. I miss those days, but at the same time, I don't miss those days. And then we're parked next to this beauty as well. Sugar Deep Farms! 
Nice truck, very, very beautiful, very rustic looking. And then you got the exhaust right there, that's, that's sweet. And then to top it all off, we're parked next to a school bus. This place is awesome. These are my kind of people. These guys know how to have fun. Oh yeah, and by the way, the guy who went by the first time and recognized me, that was Ronnie, the one who just crashed and I talked to, to my cousin. So now we'll put some of Jake's stuff away for him and get get it ready for when these guys come in. All they have to do is pull the bikes on and we'll be ready to go. As you guys know from the previous videos, Seth had a problem with his gas tank. And if you guys don't know about that, go check out the videos. Go to the channel, you know, just scroll through the videos. I'm sure you'll find it sooner or later. And to prevent him losing it again, they came up with this concept that they're actually gonna tie the gas cans down good. Now last time I did not strap the gas tanks down, so I don't know exactly how they were tied down. Jake, I guess, ended up strapping them down and they were gone. So hopefully Seth is taking duty of this now. Because what I understand is that gas can is very expensive. Jake, how do you think you did? Okay. okay. What ended up happening? Well, I broke my shifting shifter on the first lap. First lap? First lap. Broke it right off. You know, there's supposed to be a little knob that comes out so your foot can easily access it. I, I whacked pretty hard here. Broke this thing off. Uh, oh yeah. And I got freaking barbed wire fence in my brake. Where? Freaking is making all sorts of noise. And I. You got, you yeah. got what? Barbed yeah. wire? Yeah. Oh my goodness, dude. I don't know how that gets in there, but. You went through hell and back on this race. I think I did good though. I ran the whole freaking race in second gear. Yeah? The whole race. I'm glad this thing's wide ratio, but in the fields, man, I'm like, wow, just giving it to him. Didn't feel like shifting? I can't shift. <laughs> Look at yeah, you, you had to shift a little bit, right? I didn't shift one time. Really? After I broke that, I didn't shift one oh time. My you can't goodness. shift. Look. Oh yeah. Try to get your foot in there, huh? Even if you hit it, it doesn't shift up. You that don't sucks. have much leverage. I didn't shift one time at all. That's not so cute. Just calling him right out. I want to see your results, Mr. Miss Miss Shift. That guy's getting ready. Warming it up. Jake's gotta go shopping. So Jake ended up going through a shifter. He went through a bark buster and a, and a blister on his hand. He's gonna have to get a massage. Jake, I, I loved being your cheer, cheerleader today. I, I'm missing the pom poms, but maybe next race, okay? I passed like 20 people, so. Uh, how'd the race go? Good. I saw you out there. Yeah, why are you recording that next race? Why not? Well, I'm not an next race. You make me look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, let's get Seth Reese the worst at. <laughs> no, I wanted to get it because there's some good action shots, you know. I, I tried to find you in the woods, I didn't. So how'd you shift? I did. What, what gear are you running at? Second. No wonder why you didn't laugh at me. <laughs> Screw you, Seth. <laughs> shots fired! Shots fired! There's Jake Shifter. We can weld that sucker back together. We found Jake Shifter. Now he says the bark buster somewhere over here. He's leading the way. Did you like this track or pavilion better? Uh, I think I like this one better. You do? Yeah. Yeah, I I, I, I like this too. Just by the looks of it, I mean, look at this. Look at the trails. It's real bumpy. It's so beautiful. We probably shouldn't be on the track. They're about to race. Just brap, brap. This is beautiful, man. I really wish I made it on this one. This is a nice freaking track. So you, so what you're telling me I ain't gotta clean it again. is this track was better. Your bike is cleaner. And I missed this one. Health is key. Health is key. Without health, you're sitting sideline, cheerleading for Seth and Jake. Jake, who do you have to thank uh, for your bike running? Mr. 3D Machine. Wait, I, I, I didn't catch that. I am very appreciative to Dalton 3D Machines for getting my bike going this morning at about 9.23 when the race started at 9.30. Freaking thing wouldn't start. I throw 3D Machines on the project of getting the thing running and the baby fire gun. <laughs> Just fired right up, rap! Uh, we're looking for a black and white uh, bark buster. Hopefully we can salvage it if it's not broken.
wow. We just left the race. Now we're getting fuel. E, that means extra fuel. Now you can't blame the Jeep. It's been hauling, you know, all us fun havers and the dirt bikes. So I think the plan is get fuel, get some food, and then hit the road. That is probably not the order because that order makes too much sense. We'll keep you in the loop. Look at that guy, he's braffing right along. Braff! Seth, you did a wonderful job parking the rig. Well, the last time we spoke with you guys was about two hours ago after we got done eating. Now we're almost home. By the time we get there though, it's going to be dark. So I want to finalize this video, finish this video by, by asking you guys one question. It, it pertains to wristband. Do you still have your wristband on from today's event? I do. You do? Yeah. I don't. Now, when I'm, when I'm done at a place like a fair or wherever I need to wear a wristband, I take it off like immediately, usually within an hour of an event. I understand that some people wear it for a day. I understand some people rock them for a week. I want to know in the comment section below, do you guys rip them off right away or do you rock them? Some people probably even collect them. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys had fun. I sure did. 3D Machines out. That's a wrap. See you later, guys. It was fun. Those guys are awesome.